the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 109 to Samuel 18 to 20. The story of Coup de Tat III in a coup. Absalom's rebellion ended up failing and David returned to the palace and tried to sort out the situation. However, the emotional chasm existing among the nation was not easy to mend. First point, Ahithophel kills himself and Absalom dies in the hands of Joab. When the people of Israel heard that David was to come out against Absalom, the man said to David not to go out. David agreed to this and made the people promise that they would not kill his son. Eventually, war broke out. David won this battle, and Absalom's coup d'etat came to a complete end. Unfortunately, this cost 20,000 lives. Absalom tried to learn away, but his long hair got caught in a tree. The one man from David's side caught Absalom's stock. Knowing that David did not wish to kill his own son, the man took Joab there. But like the time Joab just killed Abuna, he also just killed Absalom. So eventually, the two people who planned the coup d'etat both died. Ahithophel killed himself and Absalom died in the hands of Joab. Second point, Joab was a complex person to David. Although Absalom's army outnumbered David's army led by Joab, David still saw victory. Although Joab brought David victory, he disobeyed him by killing Absalom. David was glad of the outcome, but he was sad at the news of Absalom's death. Although Absalom committed treason, he was still David's son. David believed that Absalom died because of his sin, and so he cried with guilt and remorse. When the people of Israel saw that David lamented for Absalom, they lamented with him. Joab tried to convince David to come out from lamenting. So David listened to Joab and returned as king. Joab was someone who advised, who disobeyed, who also obeyed and was like a friend to David. Indeed, he was a complex person. Third point. David returned as a king through bringing out the priestess and the tribe of Judah. After the fall of Absalom, the twelve tribes came together to discuss David's return. Prior to this, they had anointed Absalom as a king. Thus, they had to organize the logistics of bringing David back as a king. So David brought out the priestess and the tribe of Judah in order to settle this. David furthermore recruited Amasa, who had helped Absalom as the new commander of the army. This was in order to settle the feud between the two sides. But this instant later became a problem between the tribe of Judah and the last of the tribes. This whole instant with Absalom did indeed bring a great deal of trouble to David. Fourth point, David gained a few things from Absalom's coup d'etat. After defeating Absalom's coup d'etat, there was Shimei, and a thousand men from the tribe of Benjamin waiting for David in Jerusalem. David granted Shimei forgiveness. David used this opportunity to bring the tribe of Benjamin closer to him. Shimei knew that the reason David saved him was because he wanted Shimei to bring the hidden thousand men out. If Shimei and the hidden men did not come out here, 
it would have been very troublesome later for Solomon. Jonathan's son Mephibosheth also welcomed David. Mephibosheth was always grateful to David for taking him in. Another person to welcome David was Bajilei, who helped David during his time of learning away. David offered Bajilei to come to Jerusalem with him, but he declined. However, he asked David to look after his son instead. Although it was very difficult to handle Absalom's coup d'etat, David was able to bring together the people from the tribe of Benjamin in the process. Fifth point, the incident of Sheba marked the end of Absalom's coup d'etat. On his way back to Jerusalem, Sheba, who was from the tribe of Benjamin, caused another uproar. The other tribes had a grudge against the tribe of Judah for operating David's return to Jerusalem on their own terms. The tribe of Judah explained that it was all because they were supporting David. They also explained that they did not get extra privilege for being in tribe of Judah from David. But there was a man named Sheba who was from the tribe of Benjamin. As soon as David returned to Jerusalem, he had to plan a battle against Sheba. In this process, Joab used this chaotic atmosphere to kill Amasha, who was given his place. He killed Amasha the way he had simply killed Abner and Absalom. When David's army tried to attack the army of Sheba, they hid in Abel Beth Marker. But a wise woman intervened. Due to this wise woman, the people of Abel were able to avoid being called traitors. With this, David was finally able to see the end of the coup d'etat and rebuild the country peacefully. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondok app. The Tondok app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyango Zo has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zo is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondok app.